Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 3 theory of equations. x is 3.3 question number 7. So, x power 4 minus 14x square plus 45 equal to 0. In this case, the degree is 4. Okay, you wanted to verify whether 1 is a factor or minus 1 is a factor etc. But in this case, when you see the question particularly, x power 4 minus 14x square plus 45 equal to 0. In quite common uh, for quadratic equation, we may factorize directly, otherwise we may use formula. For cubic equation, we will verify 1 is a factor, minus 1 is a factor, then plus 2, minus 2, etc. We will go. And we have our properties also. At the same time, what are the numbers we may can able to verify. In this case, degree 4. Obviously, I wanted to verify whether x minus 1 and x plus 1 and 2 minus 2, I wanted to go. But when you see specially in this case, the question is x power 4 minus 14x square plus 45 equal to 0. x power 4 power e1 x square power e1. And this is constant. There is no odd coefficient of x. So, if I am going to declare my x square as particular uh, variable, then it will be a quadratic equation. See, I will take let x square equal to some t I will take. So, then the given question become this is x square whole square that is x power 4. So, t square minus 14 this will be t plus 45 equal to 0. So, very simple the product is positive and the sum is minus. So, if the product is positive, sum is minus, both number will be negative. And I have 14, you want to add. So, 45, so I know directly 9, 5 is 45. So, put 9 and 5 here, minus into minus plus 9, 5 is 45. Minus 9 minus 5 gives minus 14. It gives t minus 9 into t minus 5 equal to 0. So, when you equate to 0, t value will be 9 and 5. What is t actually? Your assumption. So, therefore, x square will be 9, that is t equal to 9, t is x square. So, x square gives 9, x will be plus or minus 3. And again, I have t equal to 5, that is x square equal to 5, x will be plus or minus root 5. Got it? So, in this case, it is degree 4, it has 4 values. Therefore, the value of x will be plus or minus 3 and plus or minus root 5. Very simple. I will repeat in this case, particularly when you see the question, the x terms whose power is always even. So, I can declare my the least power of x that is x square as t. So, when I am going to declare my x square as t, the given equation become a quadratic equation. I can be able to factorize directly. In this case, very simple. I am getting t minus 9 and t minus 5. So, the value of t will be 9 and 5. Actually, t is a assumption. I already assumed t equal to x square. So, x square equal to 9 gives x equal to plus or minus 3 and x square equal to 5 gives x equal to plus or minus root 5. So, therefore, in this case, the value of x when you solve like this, we may get finally plus or minus 3 and plus or minus root 5. Got it?